Create a new file. My file is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Go to View. Guides. New Guide Layout. Create two columns and two rows. The gutter should be zero pixels. Select the ellipse tool. Select shape. Select no color for the fill. Pick a color for the stroke. Make the stroke width 2 pixels. Press shift while creating the shape to make a perfectly round circle. Connect the width and height with the chain icon. Make the width 500 pixels. The height should be 500 pixels too now. Right-click on the ellipse layer and select Rasterize Layer. Select the Move tool and press Ctrl plus T. Place the ellipse on the top part of the canvas on the vertical guideline. The bottom of the ellipse should be in the center of the canvas. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the ellipse layer. Then press Ctrl plus T. Select Toggle Reference Point. Place the reference point in the center of the canvas. Connect the width and height with the chain icon. Lower the width to 90%. The height should be 90% too now. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus T until the ellipse is filled. Select all the ellipse layers. Right-click on them and select Merge Layers. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the ellipse layer. Then press Ctrl plus T. Place the reference point in the center of the canvas. Rotate the shape 45 degrees. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus T until the shape is finished. Select all the ellipse layers. Right-click on them and select Merge Layers. Click on the FX icon and select Gradient Overlay. Select or create a gradient. You can find the settings I used here. And that's how you create this gradient spirograph.